The first problem from chapter 3 is uh, the classic um, angled vector problem. There's a couple of others, but this is the one I'm going to do. And in the uh, Cernway and Fawn textbook, it's uh, a couple of guys trying to move a stubborn donkey, bird's eye view. And they want you to resolve the forces. The technique is the same regardless of the scenario. You take each of the forces and you resolve them into their x and their y components. And that involves knowing what the force is, in the case of this one, F1, and some angle, 60 degrees. Now they might give you this angle, and uh, so this of course would be 30 degrees. You would draw the perpendicular, because the x and the y are perpendicular. So let's use red to represent the x-axis. And so the x component of this force vector would work just in the x-axis. So we'll call it F1 sub x, because it's the x-axis. And remember, it's just our right triangle. And I went into a lot of details with the right triangle. If we know some angle theta, we've got the opposite adjacent and the hypotenuse. And the side that uses the adjacent is the cosine. The cosine of the angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent side would be equal to the hypotenuse times the cosine of the angle. And that's true here, is the uh, force in the x-axis would be equal to the force 1 times the cosine of the angle. And so this is the force for F1. The force for F2 is found exactly the same way, except we discover that it's going in the negative direction. And instead of using 75 degrees, for our angle, if we had used um, 90 and 15, so 105 degrees, and we found the cosine of 105 degrees, um, it would come out to be a negative number. At any rate, I'm just going to remember to put a negative in front of it, and I'm going to say the force 2 in the x-axis is equal to negative force 2 times the cosine of, we'll call it angle phi and this is the adjacent angle. That's the angle, that's the adjacent side, so we use cosines. And so the sum of the f-axes tells us what we're going to do with this, and so if we take the sum of the f-axes, uh, basically it's going to be f1 cosine theta minus f2 cosine phi and you plug those in and you get a hard number for this and I don't know I'm gonna pull up some number um, I'm gonna imaginary call it 3 you obviously will have to do the problem and solve it yourself but uh, we'll call it 3 and we'll uh, judging from the look of this uh, I suspect it's going to be a positive number the next thing to do of course is to find the Y component of this force again the force is pulling at an angle part of the force is pulling in the x-axis, but part of the force is also pulling in the y-axis. In this case, it's pulling upwards. And the idea behind vectors is that that vector could be the same as this one. And uh, we got a right triangle, where that's the opposite side. And according to our trig, the sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite side would be equal to the hypotenuse times the sine of the angle. So this opposite side, in this case the y-axis, so the force 1 from the y-axis is going to be equal to force 1 times the sine of theta. Then using the same reasoning for force 2, this force, we resolve its y component. And I'll draw it up here. And this is going to be uh, force 2 in the y axis, is going to be force 2 times the sine of phi. Because again, if we were to draw it over here, here's our angle 75 degrees. And, uh, and they're both going the same axis, so they'll both be positive. So, um, I don't know, once again, I'm going uh, to say that the sum of my forces in the y-axis is going to be F1 sine theta, and then I'm going to add to it plus F2 
sine phi. That this represents the other angle phi. So that's my result, and I'll make up a couple of numbers. Let's say this is 4 and this is 2. Add them together, it's going to be 6. So the sum of my y's is going to be 6. My resultant hypotenuse is going to be equal to, the resultant is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of the forces in the x-axis squared plus the sum of the forces in the y-axis squared. Simple uh, a Pythagorean, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The angle, of course, is tangent. We know the opposite side, we know the adjacent side, and the tangent of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent, and so the angle is equal to opposite divided by adjacent, and take the inverse tangent of that, and that gives you the angle. So uh, this equation gives you the magnitude, and the tangent gives you the angle itself. Good luck with that.